a critique might be a totally alien concept. You're bringing in your art, you're presenting it to people, you're being quite vulnerable by doing so. It's a chance for me to take a more active role in getting the kind of feedback that I know I need for a particular piece, or just getting a sense of what the next step should be. The critique sandwich is when you give an encouraging piece of feedback, and then you give a little bit more critical piece of feedback, and then you finish it off with another encouragement. They can leave from that critique experience feeling really good. Students sometimes come into my class and they think that they're not worthy of expressing their opinion because, oh, well, I don't know how to speak about it. The only way to speak about it is to say what you're thinking. You are doing everybody a favor if you can just speak in plain English, use simple, direct words. If you want to make a statement, you want to say, oh, well, I think the composition could be better, say why. Even when you're giving positive feedback, to think about like, what the utility of that comment is. I want to point out the good qualities, but I also want to point them out in a way where it'll give the artist somewhere to go. When receiving critique, I really try to remember it's my artwork that's being critiqued, and it has nothing to do with me as a person. A lot of us have a really personal relationship with our art, so it's hard to separate those things sometimes. It's really hard not to take it personally, but it's not about you. It's about the work. I've got this one friend who I always ask for a critique, but every time he gives a suggestion, I'm always like, oh, I've already done that, I'm already thinking about that, and he's like, Lauren, why do you always get offensive? And I'm like, oh, I didn't even realize I was doing that. So I think the first step is just noticing yeah. that you're being defensive. Whenever I do comics, I always draw little thumbnails and just present them to people without saying anything. I just say, what do you see? If what they see matches what I want the audiences to see, I know I've done a good job. But if they see something completely different, I know I need to go back and revise the thumbnails. I want to listen to everybody, even though I know it's not going to actually make me feel happier about the work. Probably the best thing about critique is that you do get like such a wide variety of opinions. It can be overwhelming because sometimes they contradict. And I like to think of critique sometimes as like a choose your own adventure where you have like a lot of different options laid out. It's really good sometimes to have an in-progress crit because if a student is going down the wrong track or making a decision that is going to perceived wrong later in the future, you can catch that in the middle and then direct them towards a path that is more their intent. I always ask students to bring their sketches and their finished work to the critique because sometimes you can see something in the thumbnail sketches that reveals something about their process, or sometimes even the thumbnail sketch might be better mm. than the finished artwork. Yeah, I really find that thumbnail sketches really shows all of the artist's thinking. Mm -hmm.